Hey, I'm back. Well, today we're going to talk about, you know, the three things that we started with, um, our emotional, physical, and financial health. So first, let me say that I am down 18 pounds, and I feel great about that. I'm going to show you guys next week, you know, where I am in my progress, but I can honestly say to you that I am down. I have gone from 204 down to 186, and it's a yay! It is truly a happy day. So I'm really grateful and glad about that. Two, so I'm getting my physical health in order. Two, I am emotionally feeling better than I have in, I can't even tell you when, years. Because I'm not holding anything back. I'm not keeping anything held in for me that I'm not letting go. So if... There was something I was feeling about a particular situation and I just wouldn't say it. I'm not holding that anymore. I'm letting you know where I am and how I feel, which is one of those things that we have to do as women and stop shielding and helping everyone else but ourselves. We have to help us first. We have to let people know where we are and what we want and how we feel so that they don't think that we're that stepping board or that walking, you know, that whipping post that they can use to get rid of their stress and they can dump everything on us, but we don't dump everything. We don't say anything. We hold it back. We keep it to ourselves. And as a woman, we need to learn how not to do that so that we don't emotionally harm ourselves. And believe me, I am in such a good place that it's unbelievable because I have no more excuses for why I'm not going to do some things for me. Third, I'm getting my financial house in order because some of the things that I would not do before I'm doing now and some of the things that I was holding back or I was taking care of just because I felt I didn't want to, you know, burden. No, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm doing, everybody has to carry the load and pick up their share or it just won't get done. It's just that simple because I'm not going to be that person that says, oh, don't worry about it. I'll just take care of it. Nope, not doing that anymore. That's over. That's done. So my physical, my blood pressure, I skipped right over that when I started talking about the weight. I got so excited. My blood pressure has been under control to the point where the meds are almost gone. My blood pressure is like 121 over 83 all the way down to 120 over 75 so i am reaching what the doctors say is normal and i'm happy about that i'm thrilled i can't tell you how thrilled i am so we are putting those three things in order for us which are seriously important and i just want to say to all of you all that we have to remember to put us first we have to remember to get that home work-life balance in. And we have to remember that exercising is nothing if we don't control our diets. Eat healthy. We need to exercise. May it be in a gym. May it be walking. You know, I like dancing. So on the days that I can't go to the gym, I go out dancing. In this town, there's some place to go dancing every single day. So if you like dancing, no matter what kind it is, there's some place in this town where you can go dancing. And that is a great form of exercise because it exercises every portion of your body from your arms, your legs, your torso, your waistline. And let me tell you how it exercises your waistline. And it strengthens the muscles in your legs so that our calves and our thighs won't look like that before picture I showed you before. You know, those 18 pounds are working. I am getting rid of, you know, places that I hadn't seen in a while. And the other day, I actually wore something that I haven't been able to get in for two and a half years. And two of my coworkers said to me, hey, I haven't seen that in a long time. It's been two and a half years since I could get it on. Who was thrilled? Wow. I was so thrilled, so happy to do it. And for the last thing that I want to say is 
our Director of Communications, Ray, has given us all a challenge. And she asked that we ask everyone that we know, share in our social media challenges through our vlogs and blogs and everything. Ask you guys to share with us on our Instagram, on our Facebook, on our website, things that you do to exercise to may it be traditional or non-traditional as women so that we are staying healthy for ourselves. We'd love to hear your stories, whether they're in a video, whether it's just a short note to us, or whether you want to send us pictures or, you know, your actual blog of what you're doing to stay healthy and what exercises you're doing that are fun, that will motivate somebody else to do what we need to do for ourselves as women. See you next week. Bye.